De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Report reaching us right now, and allegedly is that an elder who is said to be a seer who had gone into the sacred forest of Odua to spend 27 days as required by the gods, have come out I mean to and speak to the elders of the palace of the Oni of Ife, including the Oni of Ife. Everybody that um, 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 uh, needs to hear what he has come to say. Among so many other information, they say very vital information that he brought from the forest of Odua. They said he came out and told them that um, um, Queen Naomi and Tadenikawu must return to the palace of the Oni of Ife. That if they do not return to the palace of the Oni of Ife, there will never, ever, ever, ever be peace in that palace. <laughs> now, you know, the whole thing is that it looks as though every day the thing is just going back and forth and back and forth. Could this really be the reason why Oni is not giving up? Could it really be the reason why, you know, Oni is doing everything to ensure that this happens? Because... You know, after the birth of the twins, a lot of people were, as a matter of fact, I've seen a lot of people who have come to say that uh, it's okay. At least they have this um, other boy, um, the newborn baby and the girl, so people can just take their eyes off Tardeni Kabo and all of that. But it's looking like it's more to um, uh, everything that just um, Tardeni Kabo being the only son as a then, okay? So right now, um, this is the same reason why a lot of people will tell you that. This thing between Oni of Ife and Kwinami has got a spiritual undertone that we may never ever be able to understand what it really means until such a time where, you know, there will be this very great um, exposition again. But they say this elder is a seer that it was required by the gods to go and spend 27 um, um, days in the sacred for forest of Odua. Now, we are, what what is the sacred forest of Odua? I heard that um, that there is this place that is called a sacred forest. That it is actually the the it's, it's very huge. A part of it is a is um, like a tourist attraction in Ile Ife. You know, a lot of people, Yoruba people, when they come to Nigeria, the first place like the Ifa Ifa um, people who are into the Ifa religion. When they come to Nigeria from, you know, um, South America, all of these other countries who practice that religion, the first place they want to go to is the land of Ileife. We have heard that it is believed that, you know, the first Yoruba man landed in the land of Ileife. And a lot of them, um, um, you know, the Yoruba people are called the Udua descendants. And, you know, especially the uh, um, traditional ones. And, of course, um, we have a lot of them who are practicing the Ifa religion with due respect, okay? And so, now, um, uh, they said there is a sacred forest of Udua. And it's right there in Ileife that part of it is a tourist attraction. And there is a secret area where you cannot go into. Now, that is the house of the 401 dietaries. Of course, that you say every time in the Uni of Ife, you see different ceremonies uh, every day, that it, this is the reason. So right now, they said this man was um, um, uh, mandated to go spend 27 days inside the forest, and he has finished his 27 days. Now, when he came back into the palace of the Oni of Ife, one of those vital messages he brought to them is that Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo must return to the palace of the Oni of Ife. That except they come back into that palace, there can never be peace. And that Oni of Ife will never have rest. Allegedly, oh, allegedly. No, be me talk, come on, I hear, I hear. Okay? That he will not have rest until they return. So, what this is meaning is that this is not just about Tade Nikawo, Queen Naomi, and uh, Tade Nikawo being the first son. This is about whatever it is that Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi used to share in those days as they are saying it, oh, no, be me, don't come on. 
head. This is just what this is about. And so, now, they say that no matter what happens, Penami and Tade Nikawo must return back to the palace. And um, um, they said they comm the man commended Oni of Ife for all the effort he's making, but they said he has to expedite action for this to happen. That the longer he waits, the more dangerous it becomes for him. What is going to happen if they don't return? I don't know. I don't know if other people are aware, but they said that it's expedient for Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo to return back into the life of Oni of Ife and to return back into the palace. Now, for what? They are saying it's for safety reason. That she happens to be there for a reason, for a day. And this is not the first time we have had this thing for a day that Queen Nam is planted in the life of Oni of Ife for a particular day. Now, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Adele Rama, bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sauce. And still on the rails, Della right? How are you guys doing? I hope your day is going well. I love you. I appreciate you, Della right? My Della right? My Della right? My super people. Della right? My Della right? My Della right? My super people. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here for me. I appreciate you guys so much. And, you know, God is going to raise soldiers to be there for you. I appreciate you from the depth of my heart. Seriously, I seriously, seriously appreciate you guys so much. Now, if you're here and you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Report reaching us right now is that um, there is another confirmation that Queen Ami must return back into the palace. And they say when this man came back with this news, they, um, they, everywhere was quiet. Now, where was, why is everywhere quiet? They say this man used to be an anti Queen Naomi. That for whatever reason it is that this guy, this man does not like Queen Naomi for anything. That this man does not like Queen Naomi for anything. And that is not something that started. After Pinami went to go and write that thing on Instagram, they said this thing started from the first time that Oni brought Pinami into the palace. You do know that they said the man is a, of course, serious traditionalist, okay? Somebody who is into Ifa religion big time. And that the man does not want to have anything to do with any other person, anybody who does not believe in that religion. And so they said that when Oni of Ife married Queen Naomi, he was the one who kicked against that marriage. That it was not a good idea. That it is not, that it's not going to bring anything good. That the man kept going on and on and on and on that it wasn't good. And so at the end of the day, when the marriage scattered, the way the marriage scattered, the fact that, of course, it was seen as though, like, um, uh, Queen Naomi ended up embarrassing Oni of Ife on social media. The man was one of those who one would say respectfully that he jubilated because you know these people that want to say, I, I told you so, right? That he didn't, like he was really, 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 really happy that that happened. And even when elders would sit down and say, uh, Queen Naomi should not come back. If she's coming back, she should come and say with, that he was number one championing that thing. But for the way, the way he just turned around is what nobody understands. Now, it is alleged that when he came back from the sacred forest and brought this new news, that the gods are saying, if Tadeni Kawo and Queen Naomi do not return back into the palace, that there will be no peace so Ator, ator. Oh, nee, me, me. That when they heard it coming out of his mouth, nobody could believe it. They said they were calling him up and down. That Baba, 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 Baba. Are you sure of what you are saying? That, you know, his uh, team members, uh, uh, championing Quinami must. If Pinami must return, Pinami must return back and stay with the Oloris. If not, she should not come back. Now, everybody was surprised that Baba has changed to this thing that Baba is saying. 
They are asking Baba, Baba, are you sure you can see well? Baba, are you sure you're okay? Baba, I, I said it is God. Now, it's important to also bear in mind that that was not the only thing they said he came back with. It. That he came back with a lot of vital information. But of all of them, the most shocking of them happens to be this drama with Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi and Tadenika would just not do not return back to the palace. That there shall be no peace. At all, at all, at all, at all, at all, there shall be no peace. That everybody's surprised. That where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Baba, that the last time before he went out into the sacred forest of Udua um, um, about a month ago, that Baba was the chief, you know, he was the one championing this thing with Queen Naomi not returning back. Because he has never, ever, ever liked Queen Naomi. He never wanted Queen Naomi to come back. But the way even turned now is what is surprising everybody. They say KBSC was just looking at him, that KBSC did not know what to say. Because Kabiesi himself knows about this Queen Naomi returning back with Tadenikawa. Apparently, that's the reason why he has been fighting so much to bring this, I mean, bring them back. Now, it's important to, you know, be reminded that these are all alleged news. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.